Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, 2016, the, the first question on paper one in the Leave Insert Ordinary Level was a, a, a words to equation algebra type one. So Emma works part time after school at the local takeaway. She is paid a rate per hour and also receives two euros for every delivery that she makes. One day she works for two hours, makes five deliveries and is paid a total of 28 euros. Found, find her hourly rate of pay. OK, well, she gets two euros for each delivery. So she made five deliveries. five deliveries at two euros each. So that's five by two is 10. Okay, so 10 euros out of her salary of 28 was for the deliveries she made. Okay, and then she worked two hours of that. So if I take away that 10 from her wages, it leaves me with 18 euros. And she got that for work in two hours. So if I divide that by two, it's nine euros per hour. Okay, so if I was to check, I am getting, she works for two hours, so I'm getting two times nine, plus she makes five deliveries, so it'd be five twos. So two nines are 18, plus five twos are 10, and I do indeed get my 28. Okay, so happy with that. Part B, one week she works for H hours and makes D deliveries. Write a formula in H and D for the wages she receives. Okay, um, so students generally don't like these. Um, this is how I do them. So for two hours, this is my formula. I have two hours by the nine euros plus, um, and sorry, I'm gonna go five deliveries. I forgot that I need the deliveries, D-E-L-I-V-E-R-I-E-S. So all I'm doing basically is taking the example up here, five times two being equal to my wages. Okay, so then I start to put words on it. So this is my number of hours by the nine euros, because it's nine euros per hour. Um, plus, this is the deliveries by two is equal to my wages. Okay, so that's it really in English. Um, I'm coming from the question above to starting to put some words around it to then put in the letters. Okay, so write a formula in H. So it's H hours. So instead of hours now, I have H. And I've H times nine or nine H plus instead of deliveries, it's the letter D. So I have deliveries by two. So to be two D is equal to my wages is W. So I can write into the box then W is equal to nine times nine euros by the hours you work plus two euros for every delivery. And of course you can have brackets around the letters if you wish or not, it, it doesn't matter. Um, 2D reads as two multiplied by D regardless anyway. So that's, that's the formula worked out. So 10 marks for the first part, five marks for this one and then 10 for part C. So part C reads as follows. Another week she works for six hours. Okay, so six hours. Um, and 12 deliveries. She also works five hours on a Sunday at time and a half and makes some deliveries. In total, she really, she receives 16150 for that week. Find how many deliveries she made on the Sunday. Right, okay. Well, let's figure out our wages for the week for a start. Let's, let's do that bit. So we know that for every hour she works, she's going to get nine euros. And we know that for every delivery she makes, she's going to get two euros. So let's see what that is. So six nines 
and 12 twos. So I've got 78 euros for that part. Okay, she then works five hours on a Sunday. So let's take a look at the Sunday. And she works time and a half, okay? Time and a half, okay? And you often see this on bank holidays or Sundays where people get paid more um, for working um, Sundays because they're not typical days of work. And that would be in a factory or something, not so much a hotel where Sunday is a normal working day. But time and a half means that the time is nine euros and then the half is four and a half, okay? Basically, it's half of the nine. So you add it on again. So what I did was I, that's my normal time. And then a half, well, it's half of the nine. So it's four and a half. So on a Sunday, you get 13 euros 50 per hour. Okay, it's nine euros normally. The half is four and a half or four euros 50 if you want. Maybe it'd make more sense if I write it as that. So you get 13 euros 50 per hour on a Sunday. Now did you tell me how many works hours she worked on a Sunday? It did. So five hours then is five times 13.50. So I am getting 67.50 then for the hours she works on a Sunday. So I have what she made during the week. I have her hourly rate on a Sunday. So whatever is, is the difference must be the deliveries. So let's add the 78 and the 67 together. And then I'm going to subtract that from um, her full amount. So I'm getting 145 euros 50 for her wages so far. Now, what did she receive? So her wages were 161.50. And if I subtract from that 145.50, so 161.50 minus my answer in the last one, I'm getting 16 euros of a difference there. And you know that she gets two euros per delivery and it didn't say anything about her getting extra for deliveries on a Sunday. So if I divide that by two, that must mean she did eight deliveries. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.